This is Green Room Surf Reviews, and we are the Kirsten Brothers, everyday surfers who test the gear that will inspire your next session. If you haven't already, please click like and subscribe, wherever that is, and it really helps out the channel. And it allows us to continue to produce reviews for wetsuits, surf gear, surfboards, all that stuff. Well, welcome everyone to another Green Room Review where we share our thoughts on the best gear for the everyday surfer. D did anybody surf today? No. No. It was freezing. Thumbs down. It was freezing. All, all three some thumbs down. I was driving. That's my excuse. I was Dan, driving home. What was your excuse? It was cold. Cold and windy. Yeah. Today, I will be hosting Power to the Middle Child with Daniel and Andrew providing their real world intel. And they will be taking us through the limited edition E7 E Bomb by Rip Curl. Hey, Andrew here, cutting in to make sure that you know all the deep stats about this wetsuit. I'm 5'11, 155 pounds, and this wetsuit fits me like a glove. I'm a medium. Daniel and I have been testing this suit for the last eight to 10 months and water temps from 50 to 60 degrees all up and down the California coast. Now, before we get to our favorite features, I wanna make sure you know all the features and there's quite a few, so stick with me. First up, the seams. They're 100% sealed, which maximizes your heat retention and flexibility. Then there's these flexible and durable knee pads, not the old school stiff material down there, lets you um, be super flexible and performance oriented in the water. Then on your left thigh is the magnetic key pocket. Um, once you get your key in there, you won't even notice it during your session, it's pretty cool. If you look here, this is a great uh, visible distinction between the E6 super stretch thermal lining and then the E7. So the E6 focuses on warmth, while the E7 focuses on flexibility and performance. It's held together by this thing called the torpedo gusset, which is where all the stitching and um, all the equipment comes together right under your left armpit. Um, the, right here, you can also find stress point taping as well as throughout the wetsuit, which helps minimize um, the, uh, the possibility of a seam um, stretching or leaking. It's pretty cool. Up here, you got this lock slide closure system elastic string that you pull through a plastic clip that helps you cinch it in place. Um, obviously it's zip free, which makes it very flexible. And then at the top here, you got a hydro lock collar. So no rashes and that'll minimize um, dripping when you're like duck diving or you're paddling back out. Okay, Steven, back to you. Um, well, let's hear from our, our, uh, our guys in the front lines. Andrew and Daniel, we're gonna kick it over to you. Um, give us kind of like your overall take on the suit and then favorite thing and worst thing. Dan, why don't we start with you? Yeah, overview of the suit. I would say it's a great suit for uh, kind of a, a warm a warm day, a nice day outside and the, the water's not too cold. It's super flexible. Uh, it, it makes a big difference. You're not even just paddling. You notice that uh, it doesn't feel like there's much resistance. And when you're going for maneuvers or trying to do anything, it, it really helps. So that's my favorite thing is the flexibility. The worst thing about it, because it's so flexible, it does sacrifice some warmth. So you got to avoid, you know, really cold sessions with the sweatsuit. You can't wear it all the time through winter, at least up here in the central coast region, Morro Bay, Pismo Beach area. Andrew? And I, I, I really enjoyed, dare I say, even love this suit. I, I think it's great. Fa my favorite thing is the performance, like hands down, um, like the stretch and the fact that it just feels like you're not wearing anything when you're out in the water. We all grew up obviously <laughs> together serving the same water and it was, never above like 58 degrees right and especially during spring it gets so cold oh. up there just i know it's like you can't even surf uh it's just so windy it just brutal cold yeah yeah exactly um and so i'm just so used to always being in a 4-3 year round and then switching from a 4-3 to this suit it's not even a 3-2 it's like a minimal a minimalist 3-2 um the the stretch of performance just just unparalleled like it, it feels like i'm wearing a two millimeter 
uh, full suit is what it feels like. I'm just going to throw out there, though. Um, I know they have a great warranty, Rip Girl, but you guys did encounter some leaking issues with the suits. And had yeah, maybe I'll, I'll go I'll go first because mine was not as bad as Daniel's, I think. <laughs> um, I had no leaks like the first couple months. Uh, it was pretty small. It was, it was like two to, I don't know, four months in maybe. It was like a slow drip um, after about 30 minutes worth of uh surfing so it wasn't immediate um but then it would start to happen and i mean everyone knows when you're out there you get that type of drip it it can ruin <laughs> it can ruin your day but daniel i think you had something way worse than me right mine started pretty quick i think i had that same drop after a couple sessions oh wow and then that drop turned into uh niagara falls where my whole arm would fill up with water Ooh. And so I look like the Michelin man. So <laughs> I, I would, but I was wearing the suit. I just bought the suit, you know, it was like relatively new, a month or two old. And like, I, I love the suit for the flexibility. So I wanted to wear it, but then I would just be, my left arm would be so cold. And I, and I did find it, it was a bad stitching. Um, and, and I found some of the spots. So I tried to use some neoprene cement to fix it. And it, it helped, but it, it didn't fully fix it. Damn, um, you rebel. But like, doesn't that void the warranty? It does. Yeah. So don't, <laughs> don't do that. So don't, yeah. A pro tip, do not do that. I had to beg and plead with the guy over many weeks to finally get them <laughs> to repair this, the suit. So don't do that. So they sent me a brand new suit, which was very kind and thoughtful. Uh, so shout out to rip curl on that one uh the replacement i got is working great and it's watertight so um i got in the water i don't i don't feel a thing which is great love that love it now let's get down to the ratings the green room mm. reviews exist because we are all self-professed average surfers even though we'd like to think <laughs> that we are you know surfing like kelly the goat out there um so we want to help find you gear that makes a session more fun, that makes, you know, surfing more enjoyable. Because that's what it's supposed to be. So we have three main ratings that we use. Performance, warmth, and value. Let's start with performance. Out of five stars, what do y'all give it? I give it five out of five stars. The performance is phenomenal. Best wetsuit with flexibility that I've surfed as a 3-2 and if I could wear this sweatsuit every day I I would but I can't because I get too cold if the conditions are cooler that's good Andrew I feel like you're gonna have a similar, a similar yeah. it's like you're in my mind Daniel <laughs> um I have the same rating yeah five out of five performance love this uh love the suit warmth out of five, Dan, what would you give it? I'd have to go with 3.5 out of five. Mm. It is warm enough on... So I, I'd recommend wearing it as long as the water temp is 55 and up. Um, you can wear the suit. Obviously, it's going to be more comfortable and water temps around like 60 or something. But I, I wear it up here in Morbay and the water temp frequently is 54 to 56. But it needs to be warm outside. It can't have that cold or cool wind. Um, it's got to be like a nicer day. Or if it's like okay conditions, I'll wear a hood with it. Um, but that's what makes the flexibility. But, you know, it's not definitely not the warmest suit. So I give it three and a half. Okay. Andrew. I promise we didn't compare notes beforehand, but <laughs> my, my score is also three and a half. Uh, on most days, so three out of the four seasons, I can wear this this suit. Um, maybe just add in a hood or gloves. Um, obviously, booties, but uh, you know when it gets real cold. But there are just there are just a few weeks during spring or maybe a month or two where you, you can't wear this because it's just too cold. Especially, it's the wind that will do it. That lining, we didn't talk about this at all, but the lining on the inside feels, it feels like you're putting on like silk pajamas or something. I don't know. It's like so stretchy and so soft. Um, yeah, it's, it's so comfortable. But as far as warmth goes, 
I'd say three and a half out of five. Um, last one, retail value. When you guys bought it, I think it was three twenty nine, as you guys mentioned beforehand. Um, but currently, it's retailing on the Rip Curl su- Rip Curl site for three thirty nine. Um, what would you give the value for the suit? Quick update: the wetsuit is now three hundred ninety nine dollars instead of three hundred thirty nine. This does not change our reviews or our ratings. And back to the show. Personally, I would happily pay three twenty nine or three thirty nine. <laughs> Whatever. Goodness gracious! I I would pay full price. It. I would really? give it. I would give it a five wow. out of five on value. Uh, it's. I have two wetsuits, and this will always be one of mine because the performance is so good. You can't wear it all the time, but I think it's so worth it for the value. I, I give it a five out of five. Love it. Andrew? I'd say four out of five for me. I get colder faster than you two. I'm easily the first one out of the water out of this group, unfortunately. There are certain types of conditions that I can't wear it in. Um, and if that didn't exist, I'd say five out of five for sure. But right now, it, four out of five. But like Daniel said, it's always going to be like, I'm always going to have one of these suits because of just how flexible um, and like performance oriented it is. Well, thank you, boys. Um, I believe that's it for today. This has been the limited edition E7 E Bomb by Rip Curl. Check out our channel for more product reviews for the Everyday Surfer. And then any additional comments or questions, leave them below. And we will have Andrew answer them.